another data type that we are going to have in Python is list. Okay, so these are the list of numbers or strings that are included in inside the bracket and they are separating with comma. For example, if we want to uh, to define a as a list variable, we can say a is equal to and inside the bracket you can list the uh, uh, list uh, uh, the for example numbers that you want to include in a. For example, in this case, I'm going to define a as a list and it is going to include uh, numbers from one to four, one, two, three, four. So inside bracket, I'm going to write one comma two comma three comma and four so as i said it's not necessary to be a number inside the list so you can have for example different strings inside the list for example i have all type and this all is going to be a list of the different all type that we are, i can have for example in this case i'm going to have a print as a one all type uh, wti as an another all type and opaque is another all type so all of these are the strings that and all the type of all is a list of the strings that I included. So like uh, uh, strings that we have in the list, we have indexing as well. For example, uh, let's say for example a is a list of one to five the numbers from one to five. So the first number, which is one, will be the index of zero. The second one's index will be one, and the last one will be four. And like strings in the Python, indexing are starting from zero, not one. And similar to this thing, if we want to separate sublists from the list, so if we want to, for example, separate just one, what we are need, we need to write is that inside uh, a, and inside the bracket, if we write the number of index, we are going to get that index that uh, sublist. For example, in this case, if we want to separate one, if you write a0, we are going to get one. And similar to these things, if we, want, for example, want to separate three and four, just this uh, list from the, uh, the general list, what we need to, to write is that we are going to start from zero, one, two, so we are going to write a and inside bracket start from 2 and end at 4. So it means that Python is going to take uh, index number 2 and 3 and it's not going to take 4. So 2 will be included in our uh, sub list but 4 is not included in our sub list. And again if we, for example we want to separate 3, 4, 5 from this list so we are going to say a and inside bracket the index of 3 will be 0, 1, 2. So it's going to start from 2 up to end of the list. So it will be 2 and up to end of the list. So it's going to separate 3, 4, and 5 from this list. And similar to these things, we have minus uh, indexing as well. So for example, a minus 2 will be 4. So because uh, 5 will be minus 1 index and 4 will be minus 2 index. Uh, another important thing is that, for example, if you have a list and inside the list you have, uh, for example, a string or another uh, list and if you, for example, want to separate n or t from the, this big list, so in this case, you have a list inside the list because a string is a type of list as well. So you have one indexing here. For example, print is in the general list. Print is indexing zero. WTI is indexing one. And OPEX is indexing three. So, and inside this indexing, for example, inside this zero, you are going to have a string which the string itself has an indexing and indexing for example b is 0 r is 1 and so on and again in the index number 1 general index number 1 you have a sub index and which is start from the 0 1 
and so on. So if you want, for example, separate n from this list, okay, what you, say, you want to say is that from oil, oil is a variable name, go to the zero index, which means that, for example, zero, one, two, so what we are saying is that go to zero index, so it means that go to parent, and from parent take the three index, index number three. So Python is going to find zero here, which is parent, and inside parent is going to look zero, one, two, and three. So it's going to separate n from oil list. Similar, if you want to separate t, you are saying that oil and inside the first bracket you are saying the general index which is one and inside the second bracket you are saying that uh, separate uh, index number one as well so uh, Python is going to find the one this, and it means that it's saying WTI and inside WTI is going to separate index number one which is T here so you can separate each item and in the list and also each, uh, each character inside the string as well which are included in the list with a double brackets or two brackets two separate brackets um, another thing is that uh, you need to know is that you can alter each item inside the list for example you have a viscosity which is a list of the viscosity 1, 2, 5, and 7. And for example, you want to change viscosity number 1, okay? Viscosity indexing 1. Index 1 will be 2 because index 0 is 1 and index 1 will be 2. So you want to change this 2 to 3. What you need to say is that you are going to say viscosity and inside the bracket, you are going to identify the index that you are going to change and in the equal sign you are going to update the value so in this case if you if you write this and the viscosity will be updated and you are going to have one three five seven instead of one two five seven uh, another thing that you can do with the list you can add new item to the list okay for example uh, we had a viscosity which is one two five seven and we have a, another measurement and we want to, for example, add another number to this uh, list. So we can write viscosity that this append method is going to add one item at the end of the list. For example, in this case, you are saying that add 10, the number of the 10, the viscosity measurement 10 to the end of the viscosity uh, list. So uh, if you write viscosity that append 10, will be added to the viscosity list here or uh, for example you don't want to add at the end of the list so you want to say that I'm going to add for example 10 between 5 and 7 okay so in this case you need to use that insert method so viscosity that insert and first uh, uh, first value will be the location of the location that you want to add for example in this case you are saying that the, I am going to add 10 in index 3 so Python is going to start from 1 2 and 3 so after this 3 Python is going to add the value here and the second item is the value that you want to add so if you write for example viscosity that insert 3 and 10 uh, Python is going to add 10 in the location of 3 here so 0 1 2 and at the 3 will be 10 and another useful thing that you can do with the list is that you can remove item from the list for example here in the viscosity you want to remove 5 from the list so if you uh, use viscosity that remove method so if you use that remove 5 is uh, python is going to remove this value the identified value from the list and your viscosity will be 1, 3, and 7. So basically, these are the things that you can do with the list. And let's jump into Jupyter and explore this more with an example. For example, uh, 
Let's say we have, for example, viscosity. And this viscosity is, for example, we have water is 1. And we have an oil, which is viscosity is, for example, 2, 5, 7, and so on, for example, 5. Or uh, 1, 2, 5, 7. Okay, this is the list of our viscosities. Okay. Uh, the first thing that we are we want is the we want to separate, for example, two from the viscosity. So what we need to do is that write viscosity and identify the index. So index for two will be one. And if you write that, you are going to get two. Or you can have, for example, uh, to identify two to four. And you are going to have a subset of the, this uh, sub uh, list of this uh, larger uh, list. And another thing that we learned that we can append or append the value for the for our uh, list. For example, imagine we have another measurement which is uh, viscosity is ten, and we want to add this ten in our uh, list. So what we need to do is that viscosity dot and if you if you tab click on tab you will see the different different things that you can do with the uh, this uh, for example list so we are going to use append and the append method is going to add one number at the end of the list for example i want to add 10 so if i check viscosity here as you can see here uh, 10 is added to the end of the list that discussed the list that we had here uh, so for and another thing is that append is going to add that at the end of the list so right now you want to for example add in uh, for example here uh, add one number here uh, which is the index is 0 1 Two. So in the index of 2, you are going to add one number. For example, you are going to add 6 there. As we talked, you, you need to use that insert. Okay. So that insert. Oops. And if you don't know how to use, for example, that insert, if you shift tab, you are going to see there, for example, one help here. And uh, Help says that if you want to insert, use insert, uh, so the shortcut is a shift tab. So if you put shift tab, you are going to get this. And the first item is the index number. So index that I'm going to add is 0, 1, 2. So right here, 2. And the second one is the object. So what you are going to add in the index number 2. So say for example, you are saying that I have measurement and it's a 6, so I am going to add 6 there. So if you check viscosity right now, so viscosity, you are, the 6 is added to the, our uh, viscosity here. Uh, and another thing that we learned about the list is that, for example, we can remove some item from the uh, list, for example. You say that I'm going to remove, for example, uh, let's say one, I'm going to remove 10 from the list. So remove, if you use that remove, okay. So shift tab and that remove says that which value you are going to remove. Yes, you say that, for example, I'm going to remove 10 from my viscosity. So if you check viscosity right now, 10 is removed from the, from the viscosity list. So these are the things that you can do with the list. And another thing that I want to show you is that, uh, so it, it's a string inside the list. For example, I said that oil type, we have an oil type. This is a list variable. And inside the oil type, for example, we have, oh, we have a brand. We have, for example, WTI and OPEC. Okay, so we have an oil type here and it's a list. And we want to add, for example, uh, 
another type for example here for example let's say that i have i am going to add for example opaque 2 or opaque light to the oil type what i need to do is that i say oil type so oil type dot append and inside append i am saying that add for example opaque light to the to the oil type so if you check oil type uh, you are good you can see that opaque light is added to at the end of the list so whatever you are do doing with the numbers here in for the viscosity you can do that for the strings as well so uh, in general uh, we cover the string and the list here in this lecture and uh, the next video I am going to talk about the tuple and dictionary.